Hi folks, it's Moz here and today on the workbench I've got what I think is a very rare FX kit. It was only released once back in 1981 and it's the Star Cruiser Interceptor in 1 to 48 scale. And we're going to unbox it and see what you got inside this model kit. So, Airfix only actually released this once back in 1981. It was then released the following year by the company MPC and it had like a NASA sort of feel to it. It was black and orange. Then, a year later, allegedly, it was released again, this time by Airfix Lodilla, so like a bit of a partnership. And then finally, during the 1980s, maybe the mid 1980s, it was released again by Airfix Kitco. Um, and that's it, that's the history we have. So this kit is 43 years old, the tooling I should say, and it's never been re-released. If you don't know much about the Star Cruiser Interceptor, it was from the world of Jerry Anderson. And as it says here, 1980, 20, Century, 20 foot, Century 21 merchandising, licenses of the Star Cruiser trademark. And you will probably never see this again, sadly. It's a snap fit kit, so in theory, you don't need any glue, or you use very minimal glue. It's quite simply put together, minimal glue required, then you paint it, and then it comes with uh, decals, but it's not like water uh, water transfer decals. It's more like a pen. You rub you rub the decal with the back of a ball, ballpoint pen, and it just peels off uh, onto the painted model. So yeah, unfortunately, I don't think Airfix even have this tool in in their back catalogue. If they have, it will be interesting to see how they would release it without the Jerry Anderson license. I guess. Fortunately, I had a friend at the model club who had one and has asked me if I'd like to review it. And I said, yes, of course I would, or unbox it anyways. So, side of the box, you've got some pictures there of the actual model. You can see it's very basic. Um, it's, it, it looks tidy enough, but it, it's, it is. It's a, it's a television show, isn't it? Uh, there you go. It's 05174-5. Snaps together, stays together. Right. Side of the box, it's a Series 5. Uh, best results use paints G1, G2, G8, M6, M19. So gloss, 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 matte, matte. Suitable for ages six years to adults. And there you go. Airfix Products Limited, 1980. And their old uh, stomping ground in Halden Place in London. And there you got it in French as well. And the instructions come in all different languages. There you are. That's it. That's really what's actually there. So we are best it's time to have a look inside the box. But before I do, if you're not a subscriber, can I please ask a favour? I'm trying to hit 30,000 subscribers and it really does help the channel if you can. All you've got to do is click subscribe, ring that bell, click all and you'll be notified when I release a new video. And to subscribe to this channel is completely free. So opening the box, there's a top opening box. There we go. And you would imagine that the instructions will be very basic from the 1980s. So there's the instructions. Inside you get one bag of sprues or plastic. And just pulling this out, you have a bit of paper here that's explaining to you how to apply the decals. So it looks like this is the backing paper. So that's already been peeled off. But as you can see, they're not your normal slide decals. The, these are basically you rub them and they then stick to the paint and it tells you here how to do it on the instructions it just says to apply decals peel away backing paper hold the film carrying the decal above the area to be decorated apply pressure by rubbing with a ballpoint pen so you give it a good rub and there you are it should be uh should basically just sit on the paint uh see through but yeah it, it you know it, it is what it is it, it it's it's a tv series i guess and uh and um so there you go that's really the decals nothing nothing much more to say about them they're not cartograph <laughs> but if airfix did have this tool in maybe they would um uh, release it again with with the cartograph decals so um there's a bit of bump there about it the one-man gunship 
and interstellar attack craft played a major role in the takeover of the Third Galactic Empire, powered by an Allen high thrust motors using monatomic hydrogen, single H, fuel. Interceptors used their superior maneuverability and dash speed to destroy the enemy, Procon spaceships, which at the outset of the conflict outnumbered the interceptors at three to one. During the takeover, interceptors formed the advanced Federation force and protected the large Star Cruiser command ships and attack stations from the alien offensive operations. There you go. As well as having four disposable rocket pods, the craft has a protective power shield, which is computer activated. Laser blasters and scan beam weapons form part of the backup armament system that can be activated manually or automatically. Crewmen for these advanced craft are the elite of the Federation Army and such is their standing that they are provided with the very latest flexi armor developed for deep space use. <laughs> there you go. Special instructions basically is there saying this construction kit is designed to clip together. However, if desired for added stability, the use of airfix adhesive is recommended. Decals are self-adhesive, peel away from backing paper and apply where shown. So there you are. Interesting. Right, the instructions are uh, basically exploded view and they're very simple. So top half, bottom half of the body, and then you've got your rocket thrusters at the back and you've got, I think these are weapons, so they uh, come together. So you've got two pieces and they just join up. One, two, easy. Moving on, you bolt them to the side, you know, just snap together. It looks like that you, you, you push them forward and pull them back into position. Then you have your pilot, uh, which basically is two halves, they just stick together and it goes into the seat there. And there is the call out there for where the decals go. Very simple. And it is, it is a little bit miscolored. Yeah, was it, was it um, yellowed, you know, that colouring because of the age of the kit. I believe that's the acid in the paper has come out. Right then, now we need to go look at the actual plastic itself. So for the first time in this, for the first time in 44 years, we're going to open, maybe 45 years even, we're going to open this plastic. So we pull it open. There we go. And then inside is all the bits and pieces that you need to build this kit. So let's just spread this out a little bit so we can see. And there you go. There's the body of the model. And it's got the uh the location locating pins there so you just basically locating pins into position i think it's a very simple build there you go whoops try and get that in and there we go just squeeze them in together like so there you go and it should just click in the front needs a little bit of work maybe a little bit of filler in the front there quite tight I try and obviously you would glue these in anyway and there's the first bit click together again you have these pieces here so you have one and two there you go one and two we'll just snip these off obviously you know there'll be a bit of cleanup required and so I presume that just uh, find the locating pins put them in together like so and then I guess that just goes in like that I said I would use glue on this if you have this so just glue it all together there it is all together and there's your first one it's like, like a slight angle but yeah it is simple I assume these oh these should have gone in first anyway dozy mate but good job I haven't glued it haven't I And they just fit in there, I guess. Like so, that's it, really. So yeah, it's it's a very simple kit. There's your your pilot, two halves, and you can paint that as you wish. Okay, there's the pilot there, and there's the other pieces there. So then we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 pieces in this, that's all it is. 
Incredible, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. And that's basically the model. Finally, there's the glass for it. So is it was it 11 pieces now? We'll class this as part 11. There's your, your canopy. And it is a bit scratched, but it's been in that bag loose for years and years and years. And uh, there you go. Interesting, isn't it? You know, it's, it is what it is. It's a snap build or snap click kit. So, just looking online about the Star Cruiser Interceptor, it was never made into a TV show. In fact, it was, wasn't even put to pilot. It was an idea from Jerry Anderson and his workshop. And what they did was made it into a comic strip that you would have seen in the magazine called Looking from 1978 to 1984. So they had this uh, model that they would uh, sell in, in, in within that comic strip. So if you did have that Looking magazine, you probably would have seen an advert to buy this kit alongside that comic strip. So unfortunately, you never made it to TV. I've never, you know, going by scale mates, it's never been released again. So for the past 40 years, that tooling has either disappeared or gone. Um, I, would Airfix re-release it again? I don't know. I, I haven't even got the tooling. But if they did, you know, it would be interesting because these kits are going for around 60 to 90 pounds on eBay. I think model, is it model kit or mod, is it King model? They had one for sale for about 60 quid. But yeah, they are a rarity now. And if you do see one, pick them up and keep it because there's a bit of nostalgia there for all the space of sci-fi guys, you know, I'm pretty sure that, it, and it's an easy build. What was it, 10, 11 pieces? Absolutely easy. If you'd like to buy Airfix model kits, there is a link in the description box below. And keep an eye out for their bundles because Airfix bundles are giving away really good deals. At the moment, I think there's a tank bundle at the moment, which uh, RRP is 300 pounds. You can get it for 150. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can get hold of that bundle. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, ring that bell, click all to be notified when I release a new video. To subscribe to this channel is free. On the screen now is a list of my channel members who help me financially with this channel. If you feel that you'd like to contribute financially to helping me create good content like this, please click join below and select which membership tier you so wish. If you like this video and want to see more, you can click here for my last video and you can click here for other Scalebox model unboxings and reviews that I have done.